Well, hello, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on the video. I got the Olivia right here for you, and she's a nice one. This is your 1,780 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, traditional style farmhouse home. So he's got that traditional farmhouse layout in it. But this one gives you a back porch. Yes, you get a back porch. Now I filmed one earlier that had a slightly different layout of a farmhouse. That one can also be had with a back porch. I forgot to mention that when I was doing that video. So I'm gonna try to put a link to that one if I can. If it's up already, I'll put a link to it on in the description below. So make sure you check it out because it's got a little bit different layout in the floor. Now this one here, they also changed up the bathroom a little bit too. Your master bathroom has the tub and the tile in a swapped position. Now see, isn't that really nice porch? We should probably get up there and check it out, huh? How about... And so here is your porch. Really nice size porch. It runs the full width of the home. Now this is about, uh, I want to say a little over six foot, maybe six foot. We do have our light here. We've got another light down there and a ceiling fan can go in. All right, so what did you think of that porch? I know, that's, I gotta come up with something new. I did that in the previous video and I was like, yeah, magically it works. <laughs> I know that's chances thing, I'll come up with something new eventually. I am at Oak Creek Homes, by the way, in Abilene, Texas. I wanna say thank you for letting me come film the homes. They've got some wonderful homes here. Now they are located all over the state of Texas. All their homes are made here in Texas. And like I said, they've got multiple locations and they service a lot of the surrounding states. So if you're interested in one of their homes, check it out. So now, as I said, this is a traditional farmhouse style home with our vents in the ceiling. With this really large, and when I say large, I mean it is a large living room. And it covers more than half of the home because right here is your marriage line, as you can see. And you've got all of this over here. So that's probably, what, three, four foot into the second half of the home. So if this is, and I don't know the floor plan right offhand yet, I haven't looked at it. So if this is a 15 foot wide, so you're talking 19 foot wide on your ceiling, or your living room area here. Now they went with the darker cabinets in this one. Now these are my favorite cabinets is the darker ones. They tend to not show as much like grease and grime and stuff like that. Really nice countertops in here. 
And this just kind of shows some of the options that you have. The previous one that I filmed had this great big set of hickory cabinets, a big wall of cabinets right here. The range hood on this, on that other home was just immaculate. So not to take away from this one because trust me, this is a really nice home. I'll put up a picture to show you the kind of some of the options that you have when you're doing your home. And here is that wall of cabinets down here instead. You can do so many things when you're designing your home to personalize these and make them your own. And we've got lots of cabinets down here, stack of drawers over there. Another stack of drawers right next to your sink. Now this one does have the sink on the opposite side of the, the uh, stove. You know, if you're cooking and you need, uh, you might need some water for your stove area or whatever. You might be able to do away with that microwave, put a pot filler in over there, or you can maybe put the sink on this side of the island, and I think that's where it was in the other one. So we've got a six man table here with lots of extra room down at the end over here. So if you needed to put a longer table, you could go that way a little bit and make it a eight man table. And then into our utility room here, which I thought I had lights on in here. So there's our lights in here. So we've got a folding table in between our dryer and our washer, the cabinet up above and some wire racks. It looks really good. And of course we've got the all important sink. We've got the drop zone over here with space for a stand up freezer. Now they didn't put a door on your water heater, but that is in the back corner over there and then your electrical panel and your central heating and air furnace. So how do we want to do this this time? We, and I do these style of homes, we usually do the master bedroom last, but since it's right here, Hope you all will stick around till the end. I'm going to do the master bedroom area first. We got to change things up a little bit once in a while, right? <laughs> so we've got in our master bedroom, I just want to point out, recessed light up here with four of them, one in each corner and a spot for a fan right there. And yes, they got a bunch of trim supplies or decorations, I should say, stacked up in the corner there. And then in our bathroom, we've got these square porcelain sinks, lots of cabinet space down below here. Stack of drawers. We've got our linen cabinet right here. Oh, they went with the same color cabinets here. The same backsplash as what was in the kitchen. Really nice wood grain tone all throughout the home or the bathroom here. Looks really good. And then that great big vanity mirror. And 
and your shower is directly behind your sink area. Now you've just got the single shower tower in here, so no other shower heads. Of course, this one gives you one, two, three shower heads in its own, plus the wand. So you don't really need another one over here. <laughs> but I really like when they go vertical with these tile too. So this looks really good in here. And that is some polished chrome, let me tell you. Look at that. I mean, holy smokes. You don't need a mirror out there. <laughs> Now on to the tub. Nice big soaker tub here. Once again, they went with the that wood grain tones up there. Long transom window. That's got to be one of the longest ones I think I've seen. And then our toilet area back here. And our closet is at the very end, like normal, in this style of home. Gives you a nice big closet. You know, they went with the wire racks in here, but you can always option in the wooden racks. So we're just going to stay in the second half of the home over here, but come down this way and get the bedroom on the front half. Of course, there's still trim supplies and things like that in here. But it's a nice size bedroom. Now this one is obviously longer than it is wider. But look at the size of the closet they give you. Now granted there's trim supplies in here, but that is a nice big walk-in closet. And then they give you the square porcelain sink in your guest bathroom. And that same wood grain all the way throughout this one, too. It looks really, really good, actually. I mean, it's not used to seeing that wood grain in the guest bathroom. Of course, your one piece fiberglass shower tub here. And I didn't wave to Raiden yet, so hello, Raiden. All right, and the last bathroom, or last, so now the last bedroom. This one gives you two windows in it. And in your closet, I think this one's bigger than the other one. Now, I don't know how big a comment you want to leave down below, but hopefully it's big enough that I can read it. <laughs> I, that doesn't really work that well, but anyway, you all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> leave me a comment down below on what you think on this version of the traditional farmhouse home. Well, while you're down there, don't forget to uh, leave me a like, hit the subscription button, Hit the notification button, that way you know when I upload videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Well, good morning. <laughs> I'm back. Yep, it's uh, time for some price information on this one. So this is called the Olivia. This was at Oak Creek Homes in Abilene, Texas. So, and they deliver to all over the Texas area. They've got locations all over Texas. They'll even deliver to states surrounding Texas. So surrounding Texas is what I meant to do. So, uh, you know, depending on where you have this home set up and delivered, there could be extra freight charges, extra 
city fees, county fees, things like that. Especially if you're going across state lines. So you got to keep all that kind of stuff in mind. So this one, like I said, was called the Olivia. It is 1,608 or excuse me, 1,860 square foot. Now I realize I just put up like a farmhouse style home um, by Oak Creek Homes just the last time I put one out. But this one actually has the back porch, whereas the other one that I put out had the option for the back porch, but didn't have that back porch on it. So with that, let's get into that price information that y'all are looking for. Now this was in January of 2023. The current price listed on their website has this one coming in at just over 177,000 as shown. Now most of their homes that they show are the base models. So, you know, there's probably many different options that you can get with this home. So, you know, this could, home could go up a little bit more. You know, maybe you can opt out of a few things and get it a little bit cheaper. But honestly, at 177000 that they've got this one listed at, it's a keeper in my opinion. And I hope you all are going to keep going down there in the comment box and uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the video. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.